Hey everyone, this is Grant from Spectre Racing. So today we're gonna to do a motorsports focused review on the GoPro 8. So if you've seen on this channel, we've actually never done a GoPro review. We've owned every single generation of GoPro from the very first one to this one. Now I personally have owned five generations, but I've used every single one. So one of the reasons why this is actually the first review uh, we've put on this channel of the GoPro is because I'll be honest, they were all almost just marginally better than their competition. They all kind of had really annoying features. They have never lived up to, uh, you know, those, those crazy awesome videos they'll put out to promote their new GoPro, where it's in the perfect lighting condition, everything looks phenomenal, and then you pick one up, you buy one yourself to do, you know, some kind of biking or, or in our case, car racing, and it just never looks the same. Well, I'm happy to report with this GoPro, it has finally lived up to GoPro's promise. And the, the color and video quality is just stunning on these, on these cameras. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so jumping right into it, one of my favorite things about this GoPro is the multiple setting presets. Now the UI is drastically different than most of all of the other GoPros we've used in the previous eight generations. The best thing about this is you can quickly switch between different modes that you've already set up. Now I personally uh, have only really been using this 4K60 wide mode um, with uh, HyperSmooth on. Now we have turned it off on some of these videos you're seeing uh, overlaid in this video here, but um, generally found that this 4K60 mode is just stunning how great it looks. Uh, there are plenty other modes you can use, um, and they do have a 4K60 linear mode, uh, which we have not gotten to use yet. You can see this set of preset settings we have here. Uh, the linear mode is great for like a chase cam or something when you don't want that wide angle lens. Um, we've been using a lot of the wide angle lens for drift for the drift videos lately. So these different preset modes, uh, you can have, as far as I can see, you can have as many as you want, uh, just easy to switch. You're no longer just having to switch between, uh, you know, different FPS rates and resolutions like in the older GoPros. Now, when it comes to the other modes in the GoPro, I'm not really gonna go through them all, photo modes and stuff like that. Most of you guys for motorsport stuff are not gonna use, especially in autocross, I think in eight generations of, of GoPros we've used. I don't think I've actually ever used any photo mode. I have used a few of the time-lapse modes, but you're really not gonna use that in uh, a motorsports application. That's mainly just been for like uh, build videos and stuff I've been doing. Now the settings up here, you're pretty standard affair, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, all those sorts of things. We generally don't use those on this channel as we find they create lots of interference. So I haven't thoroughly tested these. I generally would not recommend using them in a, um, a crowded motorsports environment. Now, if you're just doing some Sunday driving or like a drag race or something, where there's really only one other person there really at the same time, uh, I would definitely consider using those. Now, one of the features this uh, GoPro has uh, that we have not yet to try out that I really would, uh, would like to try out is the live feature. So we will be trying that out later in, in 2020 to see how well that works. And uh, <laughs> if you don't see a video with it, then we know it didn't work that well. Now, as far as the battery life, uh, that's always been kind of a, a touchy subject with the GoPros. This GoPro uses a different kind of battery, although it is backwards compatible. This battery has a blue bottom, where the other ones are very similar. Pretty standard uh, GoPro battery. Now they are interchangeable. I have not yet to do any testing about seeing uh, what uh, the difference is with battery life on the 8. I'm just gonna order more of these. Uh, the blue supposedly, uh, you, it's some kind of content lock, so you can only use the better features, which I think is the 4K60. So gonna stick with using the blue more updated batteries plus uh, one of the reasons why I would probably only recommend using this battery are the dates here the blue batteries are going to be manufactured uh, with a newer date I've ordered some of the older batteries for the uh, GoPro 6 you know this battery type works for the 5 6 7 and now 8 so when you buy these batteries you can get a battery that's as old as 2016 which is not gonna have as many cycles. 
So if you're getting an eight, um, don't completely rely on your older batteries. I would generally just stick with the newer ones just because you know when you're gonna buy one, you're gonna get a newer date battery. Now, as far as the actual life itself, uh, of the four events we've done so far with the eight, I have found that at the 4K60 mode, you're gonna get about an hour's use out of it. Uh, we have not really tested, thoroughly tested it with a bunch of the other modes, just expect to get more use out of it. So one of the biggest failings of this GoPro that almost makes me not want to do a review on it is this battery door design. This battery door design is asinine and it really was poorly thought out in my opinion. Um, a lot of the motorsports users are going to use this uh, external microphone. Well, in order to use an external microphone, you need access to the USB-C. Now, supposedly GoPro has a mod coming out that was supposed to come out in December. I haven't seen it yet that has a whole housing that plugs in here and you can have an externally mounted mic so you don't need the stupid $50 GoPro adapter. Now, unfortunately, I haven't seen that yet and it probably is gonna cost like $100. So the alternative, if you wanna use external audio, is to buy this uh, Ulanzi G8-7. And all it is is a battery door adapter that lets you use um, that just has a cutout. Now, unfortunately, I bought this thing. There are a couple of different manufacturers that make these. Um, I bought this thing, and it is not uh, <laughs> quality on it is not that great. It doesn't seem to um, to line up perfectly. Uh, so, if you're using this little battery door adapter with a case that won't hold uh, this particular piece in that great, um, I wouldn't advise that. So, moving on. Some of the other accessories I've put on it are obviously just lens protectors, front and rear. Uh, but the big one that I've used is this aluminum housing. So one of the reasons why our videos on this channel look so good with the GoPro, and not necessarily the video quality, but a lot of like the glare and stuff that's removed that's not done in um, Adobe Premiere or anything, that is done purely on the camera itself. I'm not a fantastic video editor. I do most of the editing on the channel. It's all just self-taught. But this aluminum housing that we use with the GoPro, and I use very similar uh, housings for all the GoPros I've had, um, but it has a, um, a circular polarizing filter, which just kind of gets rid of a lot of the glare um, you see, especially like reflective coatings on cars and windshields out in uh, you know, like a very high lit environment, like midday especially, these things really help. I would definitely advise to use some sort of case. Uh, the GoPro comes with, I'm sure if you've seen other reviews, it comes with these fold out um, adapter thingamabobbers, whatever one of the GoPro knobs. I don't know what the actual name is. Um, but that kind of leaves the GoPro very exposed. So I, I would only use these in like an inside car environment, uh, any kind of outside car environment. You definitely want some kind of case uh, this case is a little bit more expensive, but it does have the you know the lens, the polarizing filter you can put on it. But it will protect your GoPro, and these nice cases also have the holes cut out for uh, the audio, which we're going to get into next. So as far as the audio, the audio is very good. Um, like I said, we've done four events with it. Now the Mustang obviously is very loud, so it can pick it up pretty easily. Now you can set the different settings uh, in these, which is basically just wind noise, uh, wind reduction on and off. I usually leave it on because lately we've been using the the, uh, the boom housing um, with this GoPro. Now when we ran this on the Volkswagen, Volkswagen is very quiet, so the external microphone does not work very well. So in those cases, you will need a um, use the microphone adapter and put your microphone somewhere else if you want to locate the camera somewhere away from um, a noise source or if you have a car that isn't very loud and you want to put the microphone somewhere distant from the camera. So lastly to sum it up, I think this is finally the GoPro uh, you should get if you've been holding off. Uh, it's definitely the best out of any of the GoPros I've used. Uh, now we have not tested like the Osmo, but we do have a DJI Mavic Mini, 
which has fantastic uh, video quality and stabilization for as small as it is. So I'm sure they make great products over D, uh, DJI also. Um, but considering that we have all these GoPro accessories, we've been sticking with the GoPro itself. Uh, I think it's a solid, you know, eight or nine out of 10 if you ask me, just because of the battery door issues and you know, still the battery life is only an hour. I wish they would just sell like a plus version of this like they do with cell phones that just was bigger, uh, that had a longer battery life. It's kind of annoying having to buy two batteries or constantly charge it or something. And they do leave a lot to the aftermarket segment with a lot of these accessories, having to buy the CPL filters and stuff like that. I wish, you know, GoPro just sold those things directly um, or it just came with the, the GoPro itself. Well, I'm sure I missed some stuff on this review. I'm not really a professional reviewer per se. And like I said, this is the first one we've done. If I missed anything, or you guys have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to ask me. Um, we can do another video or I can just answer all your questions um, below in the comments or just hit us up on Facebook or um, our, our Discord or anything. That's it. Thanks for watching.